tonight from Bank of America Stadium in Charlotte, North Carolina. It's week five of the NFL on EA Sports. to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Carolina Panthers. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Panther ball club as they interplay here. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking... their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Eagles, they come in with some fresh legs as they got the week off last week thanks to the early season bye. And usually you hope your bye comes a little bit later in the year, but when you get a chance to get fresh legs back, you take that time and you run with it. down Sutton and he can't find a receiver and he's brought down it's a loss of four on that first play and it's second down that's called setting the tone right away it certainly is and it lets you know just how important communication is amongst the offensive line they talk about it all the time knowing each other's moves you've got to be coordinated and in sync otherwise your quarterback gets hit second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the sack First carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. Gets this to the 24 for a gain of four. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. To throw on third down, Sutton. And that is incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. It's a 43-yard punt, a return of five. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and ten. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. Leading them out is their quarterback, the former 12th overall pick. Some refer to him as the natural, Deshaun Watson. And coming off of an early season open week. And in this situation, what he told us when we sat down with him was, he spent a lot of time working on fundamentals, kind of getting back to basics during that time, as opposed to having to worry about healing up or resting up. It's too early in the season. Get back to the basics, get his game going again. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on their first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. and 10. Watson. He's going to wind up and air it out. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there and it's second down. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Miles Sanders first carry of the game. And for a second straight play just nowhere to 
go thanks to this Carolina defense. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Throwing on third down, Watson. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. Watson going to stay out there as they'll go for it on fourth. They will indeed snap it to Watson. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And this is caught inside the five. Now. Hard to believe that arm strength was a knock on Deshaun Watson coming out of Clemson, but he showed what he's got there. And how about the decision here to go for it? No, not just go for it, but really go for it. I never would have guessed that that's what they were going to do. But let's give them a ton of credit there. They got to pay off for a big play. And the final number of the next-gen stats, that ball traveling a full 59 yards through the air. First and goal from just inside the five. They'll try and run. This is Johnson. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Carry on Johnson. His first touchdown on the year. And the Eagles have taken the early lead. The touchdown giving them the first quarter lead. Remember, they lost a rough game two weeks ago. Then they had to sit through the open week, but a good start here. And just think about everyone around them, everyone around the organization. When you lose headed into that open week, everyone's cringing because you don't have a chance to get on the horse and ride it again for at least two weeks. Well, they were able to take that time, use it constructively, and now they're back in form. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. Then they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked Go to so something well, else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time, because let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. So mark off the yardage for roughing the passer. And I've seen this before. On a screen pass, not only are you rushing the passer, you're rushing him deeper than normal. And I think a little frustration kicks in at the end. You're going to hit him anyway when you shouldn't. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and 10 at the Eagles 45-yard line. Looking to throw on second down. Sutton. He's going to take off with it. He's got the first down here inside the 30. A gain there of 21 yards. The Charles in the past, a lot of people call this offense one-dimensional. I think you did. Well, I think it was you. I'll be honest, I did. <laughs> I think the fan base is hoping with this young rookie that they can put some wrinkles in this offense like we just saw. I think you're exactly right because we did have that discussion that what we've seen in the past from them, they needed to broaden, and they have done it here. Look at what he's bringing to their offense, and now as a defensive coordinator, you've got some extra work to do to prepare for him and their offense steps away and he's going to keep it and oh he coughed it up but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds eight yards that time able to take off and the result is a first down shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey he's going to get four out of this as he's down to the 10 yard line on any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, 
you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. The defensive coordinators love that. You got a cornerback willing to stick his nose in there, come up on run support, and stop that pop pass dead in its tracks. And partner, one good thing about trying to defend that play, you should see it coming the whole way. You see the receiver coming in motion in your direction. Nice job eluding the blocker, making the play behind the line of scrimmage. But even and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Brandon Graham. He's the culprit. Causes a loss of five, and it brings up fourth down. Well, it's about how teams are so competitively matched, and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal. That's he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. They'll fake the handoff. Now Watson. He's going to drop this down to Sanders. It's a gain of nine yards. And it'll be second and about a yard to go for the first. Charles, Thursday night game, I think a lot of teams probably say shrink the playbook somewhat. Is that correct? I think you're right about that because you just don't have the amount of time that you have in a normal week to put in a full playbook. So as you said, you shrink the playbook, pick out the plays that work best for you. And you know what else you're looking for? It's a, who are the freshest guys coming off the last game to play on a Thursday night? Guys have a little extra pep in their step. You go to them early and often. He takes it down to the 42, a five-yard run. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Five yards remain on second down. play action it's Watson he's gonna go for a big play downfield and too much juice it'll be out of bounds incomplete they come up now third and five following the incomplete pass from the gun here's Watson he's gonna let this go back of the end zone and that will be incomplete. They weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against. And look at this, it's a fake. And he will not even make it back to the line of scrimmage. A little trickeration there, but it doesn't fool this defense. And the Panthers will get the football back. Good starting position for the Panthers as they come up first and 10 at their own 46. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And no room to maneuver there. Give him a yard up to the 47. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. The Panthers on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and nine. He may try and run for this. Now the ball comes loose, and it's picked up by the Eagles. And he's just across midfield and down at the 49-yard line. Good job starting on that scramble. Had his eyes on that first down marker, CD, but lost the most important thing, the football. Yeah, wasn't quite there. Focused solely on getting to the first down marker. Forgot to cover up and take care of the ball. Following the fumble recovery, Watson. And he's going to go down. 
They sack him back in the 42. Derek Brown gets him for a loss of eight. What great push up front. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. That's certainly playing down a distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. Just 34 yards on the punt there, no return. And the Panthers will take over now, first and 10. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts to throw on second down. Sutton, nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And I think the offense is going to keep possession. Yes, they are. But they're backed up now at their own two-yard line. Able to fall on it, but look where they recovered it. That's a big loss. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage. But I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. And they'll bring him down here right around the 17-yard line. Now we'll get a stoppage here as it appears we've got an eagle slow to get up. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. And here's Joseph Charlton now, standing just outside his own goal line. 46 on his first kick, this one in that neighborhood as well. Nice move at the 40. It's a 41-yard punt, but just a net of 31 following the run back. And possession will switch hands first and 10. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10. Just shy of midfield at the 48. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Watson on first down. He's going to fire this thing deep right sideline. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Going with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. On the draw, here's Sanders. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Calling no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. The Eagles on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and 10. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up fourth. The one with the dime look that time on defense just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. Now, meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down, and my goodness, incomplete. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth, and the Panthers will get the football back. Well, their first fourth down attempt earlier was successful. This one backfires for a turnover on downs. I like their aggressiveness. I like what they're doing. They got it the first time they went for it. Why not a second time? I don't think they'll be daunted from attempting it again. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, though, any fourth down stop is a big momentum play. But it's hard to have vision as a runner and find a hole when there's nothing but defenders in your way. They stacked that one up really well. But give him credit. Instead of trying to bounce it out and turn it into a big play, which might have turned into a big loss, Kai just took his medicine there and took the one yard. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. On first 
First and ten. Sutton. And now he'll tuck it and run. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Operating from the gun, Sutton. And he's got it complete to Anderson. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. And the Panthers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. At the goal line, a four-yard game brings up second and goal. On the ground, McCaffrey. And he is not going to get in as the big bodies stop him at the one. They're held again, and do we have a goal line stand brewing? It's third and goal. Touchdown, Carolina. So a touchdown there, and that play, the tap pass, so simple, Charles, on the face of it, but what makes it so difficult for defenses to stop? I think it's the precision and the quickness in which the play occurs because the snap gets to the quarterback. He's essentially playing volleyball with it, just immediately just shoveling it forward. And when that receiver is at a full head of steam, if you don't take the edge away, he's got a chance to get to the corner and get upfield. But if you take the edge away, that's your chance to disrupt that play. And no disruption there, that's for sure, as it winds up six points. over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. The Eagles on third down. Not good. 0 for 4 thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as that'll be a pickup of about five as they convert on third and inches. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Again, it's Watson. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. Daquan Jones gets him for a loss of eight. What great push up front. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it. But it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. Normally, I'd say this will lead to a punt attempt, but this offense already shown in the first half that they'll go for it on fourth down. Well, oh, they should have already said, punt it, punt it. Head coach have already made that decision. 39 yards on the punt. Give him just one yard on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Out comes Christian McCaffrey with the rest of the offense. Whatever he was doing in September, they're hoping that that carries over now to October because he was sensational last month. He absolutely was, and we all know where it started at the end of last season, right? All the offseason preparation, the weight workouts, the sprints, right? The vision that he had, what he was going to do this season, and, of course, it all came together with the rest of the team. Those big fellows up front, leverage, and boy, are they getting downfield and creating extra blocks for them. They really are. Everyone's been doing their job so far to create those holes. And finally out of bounds down near the 10-yard line. A big play there just before halftime. 64 yards. One part, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Out to his left. No, bottled up, fumble, 
It's out. It's loose. But fortunately, a Panther was able to get on this. So Carolina keeps the ball. Very fortunate to get another shot. Here's second and goal. From the gun, Sutton. Give the sack to Fletcher Cox. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Throwing on third and long. Sutton. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. A big play, but still not enough. Leads to a fourth and goal. Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. So they won't get a touchdown, but here's a chance to at least get three to end the first half. From the left hash, you'll have to cut this at a tight angle. And Hopkins' kick is good. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. So we have reached halftime in what's a six-point game at the break as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and CD in a minute. First, it's time to take a look at what we've got coming your way this weekend in the NFL. One of the best of the early games, we'll highlight it there. The Giants in for a stern test at home at MetLife Stadium as they'll square off against the L.A. Chargers. Lots to look forward to in the late games as well. One of the best being up in Seattle, where we find the Seahawks taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. And then finally, a good one on Monday Night Football to wrap up the week between the Buffalo Bills and the Tampa Bay Bucks. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. To throw is Watson. To throw on third down. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. They'll run. It's Sanders. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operated. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Pass hauled in downfield, and he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. A great job pulling that one in from a guy, as we know, who can really blaze. He's got a lot of speed. And that speed can work for him so many different ways. Sometimes he just takes off and goes and just runs past people. Sometimes you get people to back off so far that you can catch everything underneath. But still, at some point in the game, you probably have to make some contested catches, right? Sometimes you have to go up and beat a defender for the football. He has that in his arsenal as well. Showed it right there. A really nice 
nice gain of 25 yards. Out of the gun, Watson. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. So that time, Charles, a quarterback helpless really in the pocket in the face of a pass rush like that. They were on him instantly. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Able to get there and pick it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. So here are the Panthers set to take over. Last week, good result. They were able to beat the Detroit Lions, and now they are on the good side of the scoreboard right now as well. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and five. Operating from the gun, Sutton. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went you went backwards on the yardage. It kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Now whistles. Flag down, and I believe one of the Panthers got moving early. That's going to set him back five yards. McCaffrey following the penalty. He works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. Every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Anthony Harris, and he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. Well, holding on to the lead at this stage in the second half, those are the types of plays you really want to try and stay away from. And when you're a rookie, keeping your focus is something that you still have to work on all the time because there's so many distractions around you between the crowd noise and your coaches and your teammates. But the other part, you've got to learn how to finish. The two Fs for a rookie quarterback. Three yards the gain there, second down. They'll run with Sanders, and he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. A shotgun snap for Watson. Strong coverage by Carolina, and on we go to fourth down. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. I have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short. No good, and this score will stay right where it is. Down here in the third quarter, obviously that's one they could have used. Yeah, and one of my favorite special teams coaches in the NFL told me what separates the kickers in the NFL versus the ones who are not is not the misses. It's the second miss in a row. Best kickers in the league, they don't miss two in a row. He's got to get his head back together in case he gets another shot. Give him nine there on the first down completion. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. Pushing tacklers aside, he won't go down. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Back to the ground on first, it's McCaffrey. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. 
Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. And it's caught, and he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. DJ Moore, his second touchdown on the season, and the Panthers are able to grow their lead. Solid response that time by a young quarterback. Last drive interception, this drive the touchdown pass. I like how you described it solid because you don't get extra kudos for bouncing back if you're going to be a big time quarterback. You're supposed to do that. But at the same time, when you're a rookie, that's not guaranteed, is it? Sometimes they hang their heads and blitz coming and down he goes. Well, they tried to get two and ended up getting none because the quarterback had nowhere to go with the ball and ends up getting sacked. Nowhere to go at all. Great job, though. Defensively, they were ready. And he will be taken down here on the return on what will wind up being the final play of this third quarter. And we're back now in Charlotte. It's the Eagles behind on the scoreboard, but with the football here as we start the fourth quarter. Now a first down throw. Watson steps away to his left. He'll try and run it. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. From the gun, Watson. Throwing right, and that's complete. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three. To throw again on second down. Watson. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. Remember throughout my career here in defensive coaches always say, guys, you gotta earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up for the send out their punter now as he's on to kick it away 44 on his first punt and this is a good kick as well a strong running <laughs> it'll go as a 42 make it a 43 yard punt six on the return and that will come the offense as they take over The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Brings up second and three. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Yeah, I know we're there of wide open football, a lot of spread formations, more space. But there's still a spot for power football. We just saw some of it right there. How about that run? Yeah, breaking the tackle. And, you know, late in this game, he wants the football in his hands. He's had a good day. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Rolling to his right. Now he'll pull it down. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. As a 
rookie quarterback, that's exactly how you endear yourself to your teammates. Give it up for the cause. It's also how you end up on the training table, too. Yeah, it's a catch-22. Coach doesn't like it. Teammates love it. Where do you fall on it? Well, I fall on Oh, now he's stripped. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. Let's see now, Charles. That's seven turnovers between last week and this week. Three here in this game, four in last week's game. You know I do my research, right? And I go all the way back to the best coaches I've ever... A fight for the football, and it's intercepted. Dante Jackson picks it. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. The Panthers take over first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Throwing on first down. Sutton stepping up. He'll try and run. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two. Looking to throw on second down. Sutton rolling to his left. He'll run it. Well, the defensive guys won't be real happy because there won't be a sack on this play because he did get back to the line of scrimmage. But what a job they did overall. Hemmed him in and gave him nowhere to go with the football. Third down, here's McCaffrey. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. to throw Sutton and that is incomplete and the Panthers turned away on fourth down and the Eagles defense able to hold so they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33 and I am not sure partner there what the mindset was to go for it I don't know and some teams just feel the possession is the key to everything they just want to have the football in their hands no matter how it goes to the other team, they just don't trust doing that. So they say, listen, go for it and try and finish it ourselves. Looking to throw again on second down. Watson, he's got Dallas Goddard, his tight end over the middle. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. On first down, it's Watson. 23 yards to pick up there. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 11 yards there, first down. To the air yet again, Watson. But correct me if I'm wrong, you know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. And I think the ball's out. Well, your QB's been sacked four times in the game already, and they're the holding goal. And you know darn well the offensive line coach is frustrated and upset that he's been hit that many times already. He doesn't really care that they hold now. Just don't let him get hit anymore. Now throwing on first down and completing it. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. The number one mission of any offensive line, you got to protect that quarterback, keep him safe back there. This time, the rush got to him in a hurry. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. The Eagles on third down. They're hitting at just 30%, three for 10. This will be a tough third and 18. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Jeremy Chin picks it up. Partner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games, and now in this situation, throwing an interception here when you have to claw your way back in, that one's going to hurt, and in a big way. 
They'll try and burn some clock now with McCaffrey. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Brings up second and 12. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. A lot of bulk out there, as you might expect, on that D-line to try to stop the run on second down. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. And that's not going to get it done. He'll come up well short of the first at about the 21. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. Here's the Panthers punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. Look at the spin. Balance. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. So Deshaun Watson in the offense. Down by 12, a minute 45 to play. Here's a throw, complete right side to start things out. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Operating from the gun, Watson. And now he's, oh, the ball is out. Watson lost it. And this is going to get out of bounds. So they will gain a bit of yardage on the play, actually. And they'll hold on to the football as well. All that gets him is just a yard. And now it's third down. Now Watson escaping the pressure right. Brian Burns in there to drop him as that clock continues to run. On fourth down, Watson flushed out right. And no, it's incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Panthers are going to get it back in excellent field position. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about slim and none? Well, slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none. Yes, exactly right. Second and 11. the shotgun to McCaffrey and he'll get it down here to the 43 four yards on the pickup there and now they're left with a third and eight so this one is over a victory for Carolina and they were really helped by their defense forcing three turnovers I think what we saw in this one today's defense and what I mean by that is in the old days Pitching shutouts was big time. That was paramount. But the big thing was holding people down, holding down their yardage, right? Don't let them throw the ball through the air and gain a lot of... But now, it's about taking the ball away. Taking away possessions, getting the ball back for their offense. They had three takeaways in this one, and it led them to victory. So for the Panthers, they move back over 500 at 3-2 now on the year. And they'll get a few extra 